what pages is, is it gives you the ability to create content with context from multiple recordings. So what I had just showed you before was like, okay, how do we create all this content that works really well on one episode at like a singular episode level? But, um, and this is something that's really useful for me having a podcast or anyone else who has any sort of media or content library. I might want to do something like, for example, if we click in here, I might want to create a, you know, for my podcast, we talk about building e-commerce brands. What if I wanted to create a consumer goods and e-commerce brand launch playbook, right? And what if I wanted to pull multiple episodes, so not just one topic into that playbook as a foundation piece for how to create it? And that's what pages allows for. So what you're able to do when you create a page is you go over here, new page, you select any of the recordings that you want to use as context to build your page, uh, which could be any content asset that you'd like. And then after you've selected those, you create a prompt, you ask for what you want and you hit generate. And that's how you're able to draft a piece, a page or a content asset that has inputs from multiple different, um, multiple different sources. And what's really cool about that is like here, you can even see we're citing where each one of these um, different, uh, ideas came from. So if I'm like, let's put together this playbook about how to, uh, launch a brand, you know, I have different clarify your vision and mission and, and all the details that come with that, that came from our episode with Jennifer bet, identifying your customer target and how to research, research and understand their challenges that came from JT. So like it's able to really synthesize and bring everything together, uh, in a really cohesive way, which is just oh, a very powerful tool to have. Yeah, we, we, me and SA were talking maybe a month ago about me writing a book or doing some, yeah, write, writing a couple of books. And I know, uh, SA, this year you, you've been focusing a lot on uh, writing and publishing a lot of books. This is going to be, uh, this is a game changer. <laughs> this has saved my life. Uh, and it's based on my content. It's not based on something gener generic like uh, you would get from ChatGPT. This is content that's already been produced. And cast magic is just amplifying it and giving it the context. I want to paint a picture for, for the listener to kind of think about if, if they're familiar with the book Tools of Titan, right? It's kind of like you're looking at the behind the scenes of what someone had to do with a group of people being done through a system that you can repeat over and over again. So technically speaking, you can write an entire library of tools of multiple titans essentially overnight. Yeah, and 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 I think that's a really good point because as one of the inspirations for the product was not only our own kind of content workflow, but like we really looked up to some of the biggest and best creators in the digital space. So like someone like Gary Vaynerchuk, who has like an entire media team behind him and is like filming content, creating content, putting out like playbooks and creating a hundred different content pieces from like one keynote speech he may have given, right? So that was kind of like inspiration saying like, how can we create a content engine to match someone who's like investing, you know, several hundred thousand dollars a year producing content? And how can we use AI to help us get there when we're paying, when we tried paying agencies, it wasn't cutting it and we didn't have the budget to like fully invest into like a half a million dollar content strategy. How could you still produce a hundred cases of great content about the stuff that you're putting out? Because when you are consistent in putting out content, and when you put out high quality content, you mix those two things together, you're going to grow whatever business it is you're running. So when you have a system and you can stack that on top of the stuff that you're already doing and you can be repeatable, you're able to really grow businesses. And this has been kind of what has been at the crux of why are we building Cast Magic? It's to give anyone who's using it an entire content team in their pocket. And they're much quicker than a virtual assistant or a team. This is a lightning fast bit of kit. And I don't know what service you're using or how you're using it, but I mean, it's fairly not instant, but it's it's quicker than 10 minutes. It doesn't take that much time to process and the prompts don't take either. So I don't know what you're using. Do you want to uh, share what you're using to help with the, yeah, I'm, for help I'm, for the software I'm founders? happy to. Um, so I think one of the really exciting things with AI is you've got all these different AI providers that are competing across all these different spaces to do different jobs. So for the job that we're doing, we work with several different providers in the background. So for example, the people who are 
or the products and services that we're using in the background to process and transform our audio into the text transcripts that you've seen. That's a whole different process from the content generation that you're seeing. So basically the way we think about it is, okay, what are you trying to accomplish? What language are you trying to accomplish it in? In What style are you trying to get to? And then based on whatever you're trying to do, we're able to um, turn the content into whatever the end customer wants. And we're able to kind of build the background services that can communicate and generate what it is that the end customer